Here at One More Page Books in Arlington, Virginia, customer Kate Oberdorfer likes browsing the unusual assortment of books that range from romance novels to cookbooks to biographies of famous people. It's um, a great hole-in-the-wall store where you can come and find independent titles. The Indie Bookstore opened eight years ago in this upscale neighborhood in Northern Virginia. The shop's book buyer, Lilia Nebaker, enjoys talking with customers about their literary interests. I do think it's a special place for people to come and, you know, kind of just be here together as neighbors and friends. Customer Cheryl Moore likes the personalized service. Mm -hmm. It's very good. I think they really pay attention to what kinds of books people like to read. They have book clubs, so I think it's, it's not just a play to, place that people buy books, but it's also a place that um, builds community. After almost withering away, indie bookstores grew by 35 percent between 2009 and 2015. According to the American Booksellers Association, sales at the 2,400 bookstores across the United States rose about 5 percent over the last year. Among them is Hooray for Books, a children's bookstore started in Alexandria, Virginia, 11 years ago. Owner Ellen Klein thinks part of her success has been providing a wide variety of books to the diverse neighborhood. In this community, we have a lot of mixed race families, and, and so we're, we're trying to serve them as well. And, and it's been wonderful seeing that there are more books with mixed race characters. Customer Sarah Riedel enjoys going through the selection. You just can't really browse on the internet. You know, you, I like to be able to browse and look for things in person that catch my eye. To survive, today's indie bookstores have to sell more than books. One more page draws in customers with bottles of wine and chocolate they can take home, along with a book. We are a place where you can come for events, you can meet authors, get books signed including by local author Ed Amar, who along with the singer is illustrating his latest thriller, The Unrepentant. So blow out the flame. Jay realized she wasn't coming back and he blew out the flame. So something like this gives us a different perspective on it and gives more entertainment for the audience. It's just a wonderful way to show the bookstore that we care about spaces like this and that we want them to continue. For people who are passionate about reading, independent bookstores sometimes become a home away from home. Deborah Block, VOA News, Arlington, Virginia.